This is a design technology and food lesson. It's suitable for key stage two and you need parental supervision. Welcome back to the virtual school. Today we're going to be baking bread from scratch. The resources that you need are here on the board. You need strong white flour, dried yeast, sugar, milk, which we will warm up, salt, a mixer and something to cook it in. I'm just trying to read it backwards. That's why my um, face is all like that. And um, parental supervision is encouraged. So I have here my mum and she will be doing most of this and I'll be doing the filming. <laughs> Ready? Let's go. So it, you can even see how long you're washing your hands for because it says it started on something like 43 seconds. So we're we're really judging you now if you don't do this properly. Sing Happy Mother's Day twice. No. <laughs> how long to go? I don't know. <laughs> Let's do like another nine seconds. It's getting hot. <laughs> okay, that's good. Action. <laughs> Mixing bowl, 500 grams of strong white bread flour. Is that the whole packet? So Half a packet. Third of it. Okay. Just a little bit over, take some out. I didn't know you could get them that far in. Better to be under rather than over. Seven grams of dried yeast. Twenty grams of sugar. What kind of sugar? Doesn't matter. This is uh, brown granulated. It just makes them a nicer colour. Any sugar will do. It's about two spoonfuls. Table. Stir that round. Three hundred and thirty grams or three hundred and thirty milliliters of milk can be skimmed, can be semi skimmed. Have you tried it with non dairy milks before? Uh, a brown cob, I have. Okay. You don't say cobs, do you? <laughs> I do. Balm cake. No, please don't. This one can be a little bit over if you want. <laughs> About eight or nine grams of salt. It's a lot of salt. It's a lot of salt, but don't worry because it's, just a batch, it's it? spread out. And you could <laughs> use low salt because it is for the taste, it's not for the sodium. Okay. Trust me, you wouldn't want to eat it without. Oh, really? No. <laughs> Tasteless. Right, now you microwave that or heat that up until it's a little bit warmer than body temperature. Okay. okay. So stir to dissolve the salt in a little bit. And then pour that into the dry ingredients. Is it preheated the other? No, don't need to. Not yet. No, no it's not going in the other ages yet. Okay. And then you're going to mix it together to make a dough. You can do it with a spoon. You can do it with your hands. I'm going to use a mixer. And um, that takes a couple of minutes. Okay, pause. Go. So, when it's all come together as a dough and there is no more dry flour, just get it together in a ball. Like that. Cover it with something. Could be a tea towel, could be a cloth. And what are you using? I'm using a plastic shower cap. Brilliant. It is clean, it's never been used in the shower. <laughs> and put that in a warm place for half an hour. We're back with this bread tutorial. So we take the shower cap off. I'm gonna put some poppy seeds in it to give it a bit of extra flavor, a bit of extra crunch. We mix it again, just to smooth it out a little bit. Sing the on, hook. You can do that with a spoon, you can do it with your hands. Give it a bit of a stir. And that will knock some of the bubbles out of it so it'll get a little bit smaller again. So we're not kneading it? No, we don't need to knead it. We don't need to knead this at all. I'm just mixing in the poppy seeds now. And once this is mixed through, then I'll leave it in a warm place for 
between an hour and an hour and a half. But I want you to do a close up to see how much it grows in that hour and a, hour and a half. Deal. Why does it grow? Yes, nice question. <laughs> So once it's nice and smooth, and in this case the poppy seeds Ooh. are nicely mixed in, That's cool. let me scrape that down. And I'm going to make a ball of dough, but have a close look at how big that ball of dough is when I get it out. It's all sticky now, it's all stretchy now, which is good. Because of the gluten. The gluten has been formed, and the gluten is needed to catch the carbon dioxide bubbles, which make it rise. So that's the size it is now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it in a warm place for about an hour to an hour and a half. So take the lid off. A little bit of water on the oh. inside of that. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh. Now have a look. Yay. And it smells. Delicious smell. Yep, with well, a camera, so it can't smell. Bit of ne flour. Neither can I. And then you put the dough onto the mat. It's really bubbly now, really light and fluffy. It's not like play dough anymore. Yeah. And plasticine. Now I'm going to roll it into a sausage shape. And then cut a bit off. Roll it in the hands. Then roll it in the corner to get it nice and smooth. Why in the corner? Because there's no flour there, so it's a little bit more sticky, a bit more friction. Okay. Nice and smooth, and then we place it in this bowl, which is ceramic. A line with? Uh, Grease with paper. Cool. Re re been used before? Yes. Yeah. So this will take about five minutes or so to make these, and then I'm going to cover them with cling film, mm -hmm. and leave them for about 50 minutes to rise again. Mm -hmm. um, about 20 minutes before they're ready so after about 30 minutes I'll put the oven on absolute full heat so it gets really hot for a good 20 minutes so we've laid them out spacing them out as much as we can now they're covered with cling film oh sorry very yep. loosely I'm going to leave them in a warm place for about 50 minutes so now they have risen Let's take the cling film off because you can't put cling film in the oven. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put them in the oven. Really hot oven. Which one is it? Oh, you're doing it yourself. So, let's take that out of the way. What temperature are we on? Uh, we're on as high as the oven will go, basically. 225 well, degrees, degrees Celsius. Um, I've got this special lid that goes on it and it keeps the moisture inside, which means that they are softer. Nice. So that's already been heated up. That goes in and it's going to stay in there for about 15 minutes. Ready? Let's go. So let's see if they're ready. Whoa! Yay. So cute. They're coming out of the oven there. Really, really, really hot. Yeah, parental supervision. No, parental control. I don't know. And don't just do leave this. them to cool there. Cool.